We have a new addition to our home. Baby goats. I spent the last few weeks preparing for goats, but they are finally here. It was quite the journey bringing them home. I got them from a small local goat farm. The woman and I shared the same philosophy using plants and herbs as medicine and preventative care, so I knew that the baby goats were already being well taken care of. While we were there, she even gave us a lesson on trimming their hooves. This is the easiest way to do it. If you've got a holder and a trimmer. Okay. And you can see here how it's folded over. Mm -hmm. That's what you want off. Okay. So I get underneath the fold and just go flat. Okay. Like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's not too bad. Terrible. It's the shortening of the toes that sometimes gets you in trouble. Yeah. So basically you want them to be flat and then just a tiny bit off the toes. I got a little aggressive on the other one, so. Can a file work or is cutting better? Um, you can file, but it takes longer and. Mm -hmm. Sure, a little bit more annoying for them. Yeah. So when you see anything above that edge. Okay. Yeah, I know, off. buddy. I know, I know. Just like so and you try to keep yeah, it hey, flat. Yeah, we're gonna be pals. Okay. I'll be out there hanging out with you. Yeah. It was quite the process getting all four of them into our car. We used a dog crate and thought we'd have to take two trips, but we managed to get them all in there with room to spare. going to pick up the goats and we are so excited uh, we have a crate in the back here for them to put them in we're gonna have to do this in a couple trips but uh, we're looking forward to it Uh, no, <laughs> we need more of a plan than that. Uh, so we're gonna not let them out. We're gonna grab them, hold them, take them over there, shut them in, cut like so, we'll latch it off, and then we'll, we're gonna do one of the big ones. That well, we can't grab this whole pen. That's what I'm saying. We're not doing that. We're gonna we're gonna do the small one first. Put them in there. Another small one. Put them in there. Each yeah. time we're gonna latch it okay. and, and do it.
When we got them home, we took each goat one by one into the fenced-in area. In a matter of minutes, one of the baby goats leaped from the car and got loose. It took us a while to get him back in the crate, but we somehow did it. They're still not used to us, so he was quick to run away. Of course, I missed the good part. Yeah, you did. Okay. So just lock it up and we'll move it over. Yeah. We realized after talking to the woman we got the goats from that we were probably going to need a more permanent fence for the goats instead of just relying on our portable electric fence. So we had to improvise. This is a temporary enclosure that we put up for them in front of their shed for the time being until we can find more of a semi-permanent fencing solution around the area of the shed just to make sure that we have them extra secure um, in addition to the electric fence that we put up surrounding the whole perimeter of their area. We used a cattle panel that I had been using as a trellis in the garden to keep them in their shelter while we gathered all of the supplies to construct a fence. I've been spending time with them, sitting in their pasture while they eat, talking to them, even singing to them. Now they're hooked to all of my scratches and rubs. You don't want me to stop. We added several things for them to jump and climb on that they absolutely love. It has been a busy week learning new routines. Preparing their food in the morning, gathering their hay, their herbs. New animals on the homestead each require their own kind of care and attention, so I'm learning as I go along.
This past week, the moon was in its light phase and in the fertile signs of Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So it was a good time to plant above grounders. I started seeds for my fall garden in the greenhouse and had been hardening those off. Now it was time to put them in the ground. I feel like I have so many moving parts right now and everything has been happening so quickly. I've been busy on the homestead tending to the new goats, planting my fall garden, trying to keep up on my herbal tea orders, writing and recording music for my new band, and even collaborating with a friend on a new delicious product that I cannot wait to share with you. Even though it is all very good things happening, I'm beginning to feel the tug to slow down. The change of seasons is a great reminder of this. It is always in the in-between moments or places when we transition from one season to the next or just as the sun begins to set or rise or when we meet the edge of the woods or a river that the real sacred magic happens. We can feel it in the moments just before we fall asleep or take our next breath, if we take the time to notice. I'm trying to use the momentum of all the energy that is propelling me forward during this time of change, but also taking the time to stop, sit, and just breathe. And it feels so good. When we take these moments for ourselves during our day, that is where the real magic happens the kind of magic that can take you to higher places.